on accuracy. I really want to see good punches. There we go. Touch him up. Beautiful. That's perfect. You really touched him up out there. Up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Oh, is it great to see this guy make the walk here tonight. Really as accomplished a striker as we've seen come into the UFC in years. And no surprise, he'll be interested in keeping the fight standing tonight. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic. If the takedown defense holds up, figures to have a pronounced advantage on the feet. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl, and if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. So here he is with much fanfare, making the walk to the famed Octagon. This guy's wrestling is really at a high level. He figures to lean on that particular skill in this matchup tonight. He's so good at controlling guys on the canvas, not just getting them down, but controlling them once they are there. Even when the opponent knows what's coming, more often than not, they just can't stop this guy's shot. This guy is an outstanding grappler. What he wants to do is avoid the striking exchanges, close the distance, and bring this fight to the ground. tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Mumbai, India, Grandmaster. And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a grappler, holding a professional record of three wins, four losses. He stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Prince. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Referee for this one is Mario Yamasaki. And we are underway. So after a win by knockout in his UFC debut, here he is making the walk yet again. We'll see if he can move to 2-0 and in the UFC, and that could set him up for a potential... Oh! Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. He's got half guard. He transitions back to half guard. Big shot. 
moved into half guard. Oh, the ground and pound is there. He's now working from side control again. Excellent movement here on the ground. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Vicious ground and pound from half guard. He got tagged there. He's cut over his right eye. That is it! Oh, look at this! Unbelievable! Big ground and pound KO. Yeah, Joe, the finish comes courtesy of some outstanding ground and pound, and it's one thing to try to score when you have your opponent in a compromised position on the ground. It's another thing to try to end the fight, and that's exactly what he was trying to do here tonight. Elbows and punches and hammer fists, one weapon after the next, and ultimately the knockout materializes. Nicely done there. Let's take a look at that again. Check out this angle here. Boom! And he's out. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Round! So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight. No traces on the rest to make the boy yally you headless necklace as a fashion statement. Yeah. Sweat pouring, let him mix with a gasoline. I say the spark was a fair warning. Yeah. Look to the other side of the world, I can really go and fix in the new foreign. My ass well like that, then again like that. Get him on too quick, gonna hit it. One more for the mausoleum. I pack out shows in the corner, see your hands up to the ceiling. Young Juno in the building. Stand up, siege of our prime. I keep that they want me to rest in peace, but they know that I'm.